So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the, uh, the build experience. Um, in one of my videos, uh, I basically just said that uh, I got the, uh, the parts and everything uh, in the past two weeks or so, but that's not entirely um, how it went. Actually, I ordered the parts about a month and a half ago, and then I just received them two weeks ago. So uh, basically, I just as assembled it as soon as I got it. Uh, came in a good package, everything was good, everything was, uh, nothing was even, you know, the package wasn't dented at all whatsoever. Um, everything was in great shape. Um, I was very, uh, very happy with the packaging and everything. Uh, it took a little bit, uh, the, uh, the frame was on, uh, um, I think it was uh, on back order, so it took a little bit longer, um, just the way Hobby King has their, uh, the way they operate. I think it's three to five days waiting period for whatever back order or just in time items. Um, but other than that, uh, everything else was great. Uh, the only thing I was a little bit worried about, just from watching all the videos, everybody, uh, you know, not everybody, but some people are saying about having issues with some of the wiring, uh, the actual wires that came with, uh, you know, from the GPS to the uh, to the APM or from telemetry to the APM, some of the wires were switched. So power and ground, for example, were just kind of not in the right order. So I just kind of, you know, just looked through it quickly and uh, um, just had to determine uh, which, uh, you know, if they're set up in the right order. Uh, but no issues at all. I plugged everything in. Everything ran perfect. Um, so I, I had no issues from that perspective. Um, everything was, was great there. Um, the only thing I just... Uh, as I mentioned before, I kind of just soldered. I got a battery connector, and uh, I connected all uh, all the ESCs, um, the the ground and uh, uh, and the power. I just basically pulled it all together um, and connect connected all together, and then connects into the uh, the module, the power module. That's uh, basically just kind of wraps around this way so I'll tidy it up at some point but uh, for now uh, it's good as is um, yeah. some of these boxes um, if you can see there um, there's a uh, basically just strap them down with nylon screws um, so just the nylon screws uh, that's one of the other things I I wanted the box on they're really solid I know there's going to be a lot of vibration into it but I wanted to try how that is first uh, because originally I did use some uh, some sort of a, uh, a sticky tape and uh, I noticed with that um, the sticky tape actually because of the pressure that the wires are putting on it it starts to kind of um, you know slowly just peel and starts to to kind of like move to the side a little bit so you might have calibrated at some point when the wires you know everything was set but you know I figured you really need something sturdy on there you don't want it to really move or um, anything like that and in case of a crash let's say uh, the board is protected well um, and I'm hoping that the plastic um, the plastic bolts there will uh, will break instead of the actual uh, you know the board or anything like that so I, I hope that'll kind of dampen the impact um, a little bit to the board I don't really want to order another board it's actually uh, and, and like I said before I, I, have, I have crashed it and that's probably one of the reasons why it crashed because the board wasn't really on there solid so it was kind of starting to peel and then the craft would just drift a certain way or another so I was kind of trying to adjust it and then it would try to go back so um, you know and it, like I said it's, it is very strong I had it, no cover on it it bounced all over the place uh, even one of the uh, the propellers here you can see it's actually it's, it's white from actually bending and it's still the propeller is still tough it has, hasn't even warped or nothing it's just a little bit of strain from um, from that, uh, from from bending back, I wouldn't actually do long flights with it or something because I'm expecting that would give at any point. But just for testing for now, you know, just hovering a little bit above the ground, uh, it should be okay. Here's just a quick close look at it. 